I'm so excited. That is so good. We all love laughing. Anything cat related. It is Saturday today and I'm so excited. Today is going to be such a good day. I don't have any work that needs to be done today and today is just completely left for me to go to the beach and I'm so excited. The gym that I go to is like a franchise so there's heaps of different locations all over like Brisbane and the Gold Coast and just everywhere and ever since I joined my friend Grace and I have wanted to go to either like the Surface Paradise or the Burley one, go train and then go to the beach and have an acai bowl and just have a beach day and those are just like two of my favourite things and I'm just so excited. It'd be fun to train in a different gym that's like kind of the same but kind of different and then it'd be literally so good to drive five minutes down the road and go to the beach. I'm so excited. So I'm about to leave my house now. I'm getting us coffees on the way and then I'm going to her place and then Grace and I drive into the Gold Coast. And I'm excited. I'm just so keen to just have a day like away from my phone, away from technology, away from work, where I get to train, go swim in the ocean, lie in the sun for a bit. I'm just... I feel like I have needed this day for so long, but I feel like I didn't have time. Or if I did, I'd have to go and like do work while I was at the coast. Whereas I just feel like I worked so hard that my video for today is scheduled, ready to go up today at 5 p.m. My vlog that's going up in two days is almost finished being edited. So all that work I can just pretty much do on Monday. Like I have today and tomorrow kind of completely off and I'm just so I'm gonna try not feel guilty. I'm just gonna try enjoy my time. I'm so excited. I love my friend Grace as well, which is actually a legend. So today is gonna be so fun. I'm so hyped. I don't know how busy Zaraf is gonna be at six in the morning. So I'm just gonna leave now and hope that if they are busy, I still have enough time. But that's the plan. I'm obviously gonna bring you along, but I honestly don't know how much footage I'll get because I don't know. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. kilos <laughs> sorry <laughs> Morning. Good morning. Oh my gosh. A bit hits ya, but quite good. We're eating a quick zaps breakfast. Oh my, no. my survey I stuck in my cheese. Oh, what a waste of cheese. They did not try at all with that one. We are zaps. Connoisseurs. We're just sitting in a shopping center car park right now. It's Sunday, by the way. I honestly haven't talked to you in a little while. My bad. But it is Sunday today, and we are about to go into Kmart because we have a little bit of Christmas shopping to do. Is all the crunch good? Mmm. It's just good, even though they didn't try. 
I've had it, hadn't had it in a long time. Mmm, Kelly and me had it for breakfast. Mmm. Rub it in. He loves Zafs. We all love Zafs. He hasn't got a Zaf near him. I wonder if I will when I move. You just have to come back to visit me. I actually don't know if there will be one near us. Mm -mm, that is ridiculous. Either come here or go to the coast. I'm either here or I'm going to be living at the coast. So. Yeah, either way. <laughs> Basically, our church is the Church of Christ. And under the Church of Christ organization, they not only have churches, but they also take care of a lot, a lot of foster kids. But during Christmas time, they invite members of of a lot of churches of Christ to purchase Christmas presents for the foster kids who may not have as big of a Christmas as other families may. And so every year they hang a lot of little slips on a Christmas tree at our church that give you an age, a gender, and something that they would like for Christmas. And you can go and take as many of those little slips off the tree as you want to, and you buy a gift for them. And then you bring it in and they will give those gifts to all of those kids at their big Christmas party at the end of the year. So I have four tags. I think they're all pretty easy and then we have to buy bags to put the presents in as well because mm -hmm. we don't wrap them They just need to check that they're appropriate and not mm. dangerous or anything So that's mainly what we're going in for the thing about buying people presents that stresses me out is them not liking it Whereas these I won't know if they don't like it, you know, so I love this and I also like never get to shop in like the kids section So it's kind of more fun. I think shopping for toys is a lot easier. Mm. And then I also need to pick up a bath mat All right up Could you hear that? Are they moving? <laughs> it's gonna burst. <laughs> a massive pimple on my shoulder. It's still in my head in, and it kind of hurts. That's annoying. I just play with it all the time. Oh, I'm so stupid. I can't stand myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a crisis, isn't it? <laughs> I'm crying. You know the amount of. <laughs> I'm crying. I look at the window, I was like, I can't stand myself. And I look back, and you're like. <laughs> <laughs> I just get distracted. I also feel like that colour only looks good with the tan, and I'm not tan. Real tan. I wouldn't agree, but thank you. Mm. I think you look good. Oh, I look good. I just don't look tan. I like your earrings. Oh, and when he's looking at me, I wanna get all sentimental. You know, I'm really upset that Maltesers still hasn't brought out. Like, I genuinely don't think they're coming. You know the amount of restraint it took me to not have my advent this morning? They're really yum. They're all got white chocolate in Yeah, them. I love it. I'm shocked. Do you like it? Mm. I wouldn't expect it though. No. I love watching Sophie try her teas. How fun. First up, I have a male, he's five, and he's asked for toy cars, trucks, dinosaurs, outdoor play toys, slash ball. Is like a fire truck cool? I think fire trucks are cool. It has lights and sounds of a fire truck. These trucks look like animals. They look like dinosaurs. How much is that? Seven dollars. Oh yeah, chuck them in. My next kid is three, a little boy, and he asked for a car, slash truck, slash fire engine. And this literally has a little mini fire engine. It's a little station, are you kidding me? I put that in my basket. Throw, throw burrito, sorry. <laughs> Oh, how cool. I love that. Two down, two to go. Next one is a little girl. She's six and she asked for bath bomb making kit, paint and build things, puzzles or learning books. So let's look for bath bomb kit. If not, we'll look for paint and building things. Build your own everything right here, right now. I'm a bit overwhelmed with what I'm looking at. I feel like the girl's packaging is just a bit overwhelming. <laughs> you just mix the powder and water together, is put it in the mold, one? and that's it. How old is she? A six. Yeah, so maybe so that's that six go. plus. Okay, maybe go that one then. Yeah, amazing. Create your own ant village. <laughs> Okay, and my last one, his boy, seven years old, he said anything cat related, which is why I picked him. E.g. cat calendar or cat book. Should we check the books? <laughs> yep. I love sensory books. Tabby McTap, oh, cat book. What grade are they in if they're in grade seven? I mean, if they're seven years old. Grade one. Grade one. Is that a grade one book? Or Miss Rachel. This one. <laughs> this one. But is that a tiger or a cat? <laughs> Oh, maybe just tiger. It's okay. The other one's good. Okay. You have this paint your own pet. It has a dog in it, but it's cat related. It has a cat. It's only $5. I think I'm happy with that. That was actually much easier than I expected it to be. This is the bag selection. We have to put them all in bags just so that the people can check that they're safe and for the right person and stuff before they get given to them. These are honestly really, really cute bag selections. I'm impressed. Is this boyish or is that just really cute? Let's see if it fits first. It's quite well. Oh, oh, it's making noise. Oh, no. I think that's the best we're going to get. Hey? Oh, yeah, that's 
fine. We made it home from shopping. It is currently 10 a.m. I'm gonna quickly run through everything that I got. I'm honestly so excited. Firstly, Kmart's Christmas bag selection, very good, would recommend. And most of the things just fit in the bag so perfectly. Like, look at that, incredible. So I had a little girl and literally the first thing on her list was a bath bomb making kit. We got her exactly that. At church, these are the little tags that we got. So we've just attached it to the bag. Another very cute bag. This toy was definitely over the price limit, but it was too cool. Okay, sorry, my camera just fell over. Love that. I was saying this present is definitely over the price limit that the church gave us, but it is literally exactly what he asked for. Are you kidding? Car, truck, fire engine, a station, a police station. That is seriously so cute. It has a little walkie talkie. That is so cool. I think if I was a three-year-old boy, I'd froth that. This is for a boy. I don't know if that's too like girly for a boy, but I Surely not. Five-year-old boy and he asked for cars, trucks, dinosaurs. So we got him a fire truck. And then Rachel found these little junior vehicles, or what they're called. But they're little cars, but they're, they're kind of like animals. So it's like truck and dinosaur, which is exactly what he asked for. And then the last one was for a seven-year-old boy and he wanted anything cat-related, which I just think, firstly, is so funny. So we got him this cat book, Tabby McTap. <laughs> I also got him this paint your own pet. So that's all the presents done. We've got a big pile of bags at the door so we don't forget them when we go to church tonight but I also went to my parents house and I picked up a package and Rachel also said a package came for me yesterday so I thought I'd open them with you show you what I got can I smell test them with you yes of course so the breeze balm reached out to me sent me an email and asked if they could send me some lip balms and I was like of course what do you mean I love lip balm big lip balm gals I'm very excited cute packaging very cute do you like the packaging I hope they're oh yeah angled whoa Smells like the sugar cookie uh, native. Deodorant. Yeah. Can be used on dry heels, nose, cuticles, dry skin, patches, tattoos, minor cuts, and more. Grape sorbet. That is hubba bubba. Is that, that is the juicy grape protein pre breakout from Nate Harvest. It is. Do you know, no, do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? Your energy drinks. Yes! Uh, 100%. Oh, I love that. Oh, perfect pout. You know how I like to piece and pout. I feel like I can't smell anything apart from the one on my actual lips. I don't know what that smells like. It might be unscented. Can you smell it? Mm -mm. Oh, created in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Slay all day. Slay like slay or like Santa slay. I oh, I like the color. Whoa. Uh, that is peppermint gum. I wonder if it makes your breath smell good because it's on your lips. It's toothpaste. It is toothpaste. <laughs> pineapple pash. Oh, that is pineapple lollies. And you know how I like my pineapple lollies. <laughs> that is so good. I thought you were being dramatic. I really am not. That is straight up an Allen's pineapple lolly. But I don't understand how they can make the smell, like, the taste. Taste. I'm bamboozled. Okay, I can taste it in my mouth when I smell it. Watermelon crush. What? Rachel, that is so good. Thank you so much, Breeze Bar. That's so fun. I love that. And the second package I have is from Casetify, which I'm so, so excited about. I bought a case from Casetify months ago. It has clouds on it, obsessed with it. I do change my phone cases all the time, so I have this one on from Princess Polly at the moment. But they offered to send me some, which is so nice and so exciting. What a fancy box. Oh my gosh, I kind of like forgot what I ordered. <laughs> First up, <laughs> I got the cow print. I also love it because they had like four different types of this cow print. They had one that was like a bit finer, so it had like more smaller black patches on it, and then it had a medium, and then they had this one, I'm pretty sure. That is so funny. I love, I love it. it. I feel like I'm not cool enough to have this, but I'm very excited to use it. And then I also got this one, which I don't know how I feel about the orange, but the quote was too good. Would you like me to read you the quote? It looks like Black of Pablo. For what it's worth, it's never too late, or in my case, too early to be whoever you want to be. There's no time limit. Stop whenever you want. You can change or stay the same. There are no rules to this thing. We can make the best or the worst of it. I hope you make the best of it. And I hope you see the things that startle you. I hope you feel things you never felt before. I hope you meet people with different point of views. I hope you live a life you're proud of. If you find that you're not, I hope you have the courage to start all over again. I love that. How cute. I think Scott oh. Fitzgerald wrote The Great Gatsby. Oh, really? How cute. I've got a little case to fire collection. I have these and then my little cloud one. Oh, I love them. I love how the button feels. Okay. How fun. Thank you, Case to Five, Breeze Balm. Appreciate these things always. I'm going to pack up the mess that I've just made in the lounge room. And then I think I'm honestly just going to get some computer work done for the time being. We'll see how the rest of the day goes. I'm going to go see my family for a bit this afternoon. And then we have church tonight. So we'll see where the day takes us.